Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, before I start with part one of how to pick out a laptop, I want to go over some terminology because I'm going to be using the terminology throughout the vlog. Just want to make sure that people have down what I'm talking about. It's kind of important that people know what the hell I'm saying. Slate. A slate is a portable computing device that the entire set of computing things exist inside of the same device as the screen. So unlike a conventional laptop, the actual CPU and other components are not inside of a keyboard or anything like that. They are immediately behind the screen. This is what I am defining as a slate in this case. Keyword being portable, because otherwise you would have an all-in-one computer, which I didn't mention in the last vlog for some reason. Second thing is a convertible tablet. A convertible tablet is a very laptop-like device, so as per a normal laptop, most of the computer com guts are inside of here. The screen is just a screen, or usually with a Wi-Fi antenna, but not much else. Um, in a convertible tablet, the machine is flexible in some manner. Either the screen rotates or it folds back all the way or flips even, does not matter, but will flip around where you can use a laptop as though it was a slate-based tablet. So you can either use a touchscreen-based interface or writing-based in interface. So get down. Get down, kitty. Um, you can use a writing-based in interface but have it still function as a laptop normally. Um, it's more laptop than tablet in that regard. We have a conventional tablet, as I mentioned before. Guts are on the bottom. There is some type of hinge-based apparatus to open it up. Screen is permanently attached to the guts. That's really about it. Um, also, there is what I am calling a mobile workstation. A mobile workstation is very similar to a laptop, this could be a mobile workstation for instance, but it's typically much larger. The battery is not really meant for portable use, however. Um, battery lives on mobile workstations are typically in the sub one hour range, frequently more along the lines of 30 minutes. The point of a mobile workstation isn't so much to use it while you're out and about, so much as being able to go different places and be able to use it without having to power it off before you unplug it. Those are just the terminology. It took me 15 takes to do this. Enjoy. Ultrabooks are very expensive laptops that have a bunch of consistent features. An Ultrabook, as I am defining it. Technically, an Ultrabook is a marketing term by Intel. Um, Intel wanted to release a bunch of laptops that improve the profitability of their OEMs or original equipment manufacturers. Um, the idea is that laptops were starting, the profits were declining, margins were razor thin, there was too much competition, and tablets were wiping the floor with them. So Intel made this idea of an Ultrabook. Now, the problem is that somebody beat Intel to the punch in actually releasing an Ultrabook. Although it's using an Intel processor, it's not technically qualified as an Ultrabook, I'm referring to the MacBook Air. Um, a MacBook Air is an Ultrabook. An Ultrabook is a device that is used as a laptop, it has the same functions as a laptop, generally the same features, but with a few exceptions. One, it is always thin and light. Um, tip two, typically Ultrabooks have solid state storage rather than a hard drive. Three, Ultrabooks are not user configurable. What I mean by that is that for most devices, like this one for instance, I've got a bay for hard drive and a bay for RAM. I can upgrade these. Ultrabooks, you can't upgrade. They are sealed typically with glue, um, sometimes even just welded shut. As a result, parts are not upgradable. If you want to service a device, chuck it out and buy a new one. I'm not joking. Um, Ultrabooks are very nice machines, don't get me wrong, but I really don't like the lack of user serviceable parts myself. Um, Ultrabooks include all of Apple's line. All of it. No, I don't care that you're telling me a MacBook Pro is not an Ultrabook. I can't crack open the stupid things. They are thin, they are light, they are roughly 14 inch and smaller. I know that there's a larger MacBook Pro, but close enough. It's an Ultrabook, I don't care. Um, Ultrabooks, in this case, 
are frequently from 11.6 inch to 14 inch. Um, most of them are in the 13.3 inch category, which I will be talking about next. They typically have very high battery lives. Um, it, for a current generation Ultrabook, it's not uncommon to hear of an Ultrabook with a 9 to 14 hour battery life. It's great. Um, frequently, Ultrabooks have slower than normal processors, so you're not going to be gaming on an Ultrabook. They also usually have integrated graphics. You're really not going to be gaming on an Ultrabook. Um, but they're very useful for standard tasks. They are generally sturdy, thin, light. I like Ultrabooks outside of the lack of user-upgradable features. 